Hello my darlings, uh, I wanted to upload this video two hours ago, so uh, I'm a bit behind schedule, so I will try to keep this intro as short as possible. This is a Kirishima fanfiction, I hope you enjoy it, I had a lot of fun writing this, and uh, please remember to watch the video until the end, like or dislike, comment something down below, maybe your favorite part of the video, yeah that, that would be an idea. And uh, if you're new here, please remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe, should you think I'm worth subscribing, to join my beautiful darling doll army. I have a Patreon and a merch store as well, both links are down in the description. Now, please enjoy the show. Hey, read the message on your phone. Hey, you answered back. This had been going on for a few weeks now. Over a dating app, run by the love hero shot through the heart, you had been introduced to just the most perfect guy. He was only a year younger than you, had wonderful red hair, and just the sweetest smile. The boy was sending you an almost constant supply of mildly lewd selfies, like him freshly coming out of the shower with only a towel covering him and it felt like you both kept on chatting through most nights. It was the perfect long-distance relationship. And you hated it. But sadly it had to be this way. The boy, Ejiro Kirishima, was a student at the Hero School UA. A place that you knew you could never go back to. Out of both shame and possible consequences. Besides, you would never be allowed to go there on your own. You sighed. Kishima had just gone off about another potential future together with you. That simply was too good to be true. By the way, he suddenly asked. I... Got a pass to leave school grounds for home next week. You didn't know they were giving out these passes. Good to know. And I was wondering if you want to meet up somewhere. Your face turned into a frown. The obvious answer was no. But his question was accompanied by a selfie of him. He was just making the most adorable puppy eyes. When... You typed slowly. Just writing this word alone took five minutes of shakily pressing the virtual keyboard of your smartphone. Jeez, I was expecting a novel. He typed with a smiley emoji. Next week. You rolled your eyes and typed. When next week? Monday to Wednesday I'm allowed to leave after school has ended. You looked over at the door of your room. You were gently considering it. When you didn't reply immediately, he sent another emoji, this one having a void expression. Would you lose him if you declined? I'll try, you typed. Mm. That's all I wanted to hear, was his reassuring answer. You sighed with relief and rolled over on your back your bed suddenly feeling much softer. Your phone vibrated again and you took a peek. Gotta go, physical training starts in a bit. Talk to you soon. Followed by three heart emojis. God, you love this man. The question now was, how would you sneak past Tomura and Kurugiri on Monday? You had joined the League of Villains a while ago, mainly for money reasons. In fact, it was so long ago you had been part of the assault on the USJ. That incident felt like it happened so long ago. You had just managed to slip past UA security after the embarrassing failure of the mission, thanks to your quirk, Prop Hunt. The quirk allowed you to transform into various inanimate objects as long as that object didn't exceed your body mass. 
Another restriction of your quirk was that you couldn't choose what you would transform into. So it was a gamble of either sticking out like a sore thumb or blending in. Thank god your quirk had decided to work properly that day, and you were able to turn into various decorations that had been scattered on school grounds. If Tomura had been smarter, he would have used you to spy. Before risking a frontal assault. But he had later claimed that he had a hoped you'd transform into something useful like a gun. Disregarding the fact that the gun would not have any bullets or even a magazine. Since another restriction of your quirk was that all the object's parts had to be attached and stay attached. And apparently... The only reason Tomura hasn't sent you back into UA to spy was because they already had a spy? Well, luckily your boss Tomura was attracted to you. Of course he would never admit it, but it was pretty obvious. He had never sent you on a mission since, and just let you lazy about in whatever the League used as a current hideout. He even told the rest of the League to treat you with respect. Hey, before I go, texted your long-distance boyfriend. Love you. Then he sent it a picture of himself giving a thumbs up, with just the sweetest and most confident smile. You squealed and hugged your phone. Thank God Toga wasn't here to tease you about it. Toga and Twice were the only villains in the League who knew of your little affair. Twice because he had accidentally walked into you while you were texting Kirishima. And Toga... Well, it was Toga. Of course someone like her would get behind a secret like this. After typing love you too, goodbye, you turned off your phone. You needed to think of an idea to get out of here. When Monday came, you still had no idea. Asking Korugiri to teleport you was too dangerous, and both him and Tomura were sitting in the main room of the cabin the leak was using as a temporary base pretty much all day, every day. How does 3pm sound? Kirishima had typed a few minutes ago. Let's go to the mall in the Dagoba district. I know going to the mall is a little bit of a cliché, but this would be our first date and I don't have that big of a budget to go to an amusement park or a restaurant with you. Sorry. Don't apologize, you answered. It's fine and you don't have to pay for anything. You sighed and frowned. Not that you were expecting a lavish date, but around 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., Tomura turned off all his video game consoles to take a nap on the main room sofa. Sure, you could sneak past him, but Kurogiri was still in the room. And if Dabi just happened to be there, well, that just turned your odds from 5% to zero. Look, I'll try, okay? On the other end of the phone, Kirishima was sitting on his dorm bed, face turned completely red. Despite his appearance, he never had the courage to ask anyone out. You were his first serious and actual girlfriend. He was nervous up until they'd sent that last message, but reading that you'd at least try made him so happy he was genuinely considering doing a cartwheel and bragging about it to Mineta and Kaminari. His phone beeped and he looked back on the screen. It was having an image of you lying on your bed with a seductive smile. The accompanying text said, Can't wait. With a smug grin he quickly made the picture his new phone background and got ready for class. You had now seven hours to come up with a plan. Thank God you woke up when he did, just to send a quick few text messages before he locked off for school. You put your phone on your beating chest. You were a little panicky and needed to breathe. 
you closed your eyes just for a moment to come down and then you woke up covered in sweat with shivering hands you unlocked your phone 12 p.m thank god you still had three hours wait three hours crap you forgot to come up with a plan not only that you had missed breakfast you raced to get dressed it needed to look casual but still good enough that it would fit for a date not that you had many clothes to begin with by the end you had chosen a red coat that reached down to your knees as a makeshift dress and black tights you borrowed from toga you felt pretty enough for the occasion now it was time to sneak out getting to the dagobah mall would take about 40 minutes so you were confident you could reach it in time you went downstairs into the large room with the bar and your exit tomura was already quietly snoring on the sofa but as soon as you entered you got the attention of the shadowy barman good evening miss fortune that was your villain name adding the word miss to fortune seemed like a quirky pun when you came up with it now it just felt really ironic hello kurugiri you said quietly it is rare you leave your room miss are you going out you nodded why and where if i may ask if you said none of your business this would end badly really quick i like to go buy some snacks the man chuckled <laughs> are you now miss crap what did he know you didn't kurugiri took a glass in his hands to clean it he hated stains on glass miss if it's some fresh air you need just say so your heart almost jumped out of your chest did he just lie for you quickly you realized that you were blushing hard uh, yeah yeah I, I, I need I, I need to go for a walk a bit you stuttered very well then miss please return before supper and he glanced up at you please avoid large crowds and any heroes you might come across unlike miss toga you have kept an acceptable low profile please keep it this way the man thought for a moment before saying in all honesty with how things have gotten recently soon you might be the only one with a low profile enough to buy more specific supplies slowly you sneak past tomura and once the door to the villain hideout was closed behind you you felt as if a heavy weight had been lifted from you luckily by now you knew your way through the forest the leak's cabin was in pretty well and without tripping once a fact you were still proud of you managed to reach the bus stop to downtown with anticipation you looked down at your phone kishima had sent you a message saying that he was now on his way to the mall luckily the bus stopped right next to the grandiose building just when you stepped off the vehicle a voice shouted into your direction yo you really came kiri you said happiness filling your entire being he was a little bit smaller than you expected but his voice sounded buttery like s but his voice sounded wonderfully buttery was that even a word but you like that he was wearing his ua uniform and had a bag strapped around his shoulder also he was seemingly out of breath uh, sorry uh, i didn't have time to get changed he said with a blush it's fine you said with a gentle smile the uniform suits you he grinned makes you look mature 
I like that. He nervously scratched the back of his head. Enough about me, you... Damn, you look wonderful. The compliment stung. It was rare someone said nice things to you. Now it was your turn to blush. Uh, so, wanna go in? He said after a minute of almost awkward silence. Uh, yes, of course. You said happily. You knew meeting up with your technical enemy made you a dirty little traitor to the leak. But you didn't care. Kishima was wonderful. And you hoped after this you would meet up with him many more times. After all, you were in love.